Hey, hi everyone, Sanket here. So I've been working on a small project. Let me show you the diagram of how I'm going to build this project. So this is a to-do application. Uh, so most of the to-do application which I have seen are like basic things. They just add something and it comes at the bottom. Then you can edit it or delete it. That's how it is in most of the to-do application. So I thought of making it in a different way. Uh, so this is the diagram like how the application is going to look I'm making this using angular uh, so only part I have completed for now is the part which you are seeing here the to do started completed these things so this is kind of a a drag and drop functionality which I had added uh, like in the Jira you have you create a story and then it have uh, like different states first initially it will be in to do then started then completed like that i'm doing so this part it completed let me show you that so this is the part uh, i am currently these things which are showing here are currently these are static basically uh, let me show you that and uh, the ts file if you see i have created it manually this ideas and research which is why it is popping up here but uh, later on i will be creating this kind of a component again uh, which can be entered like dynamically you will enter the title description effort and it will show up here once you add that it will show up here in the idea state uh, so the things which are completed now is like you can drag and drop here you can change the sequence uh, like this here as well so you can change the sequence you can drag and drop here here as well so there is a smooth animation is there and we can move it to to do so there is one more thing i need to add it here so currently if you move it here in the done state after two seconds it will be deleted automatically let's wait for some time it's more than two seconds actually and i'll check that how much i had put let me check uh, it's twenty thousand anyway two thousand it should be two thousand twenty thousand millisecond means uh, after 20 seconds it is getting deleted so whatever it is in a done state it will get deleted after 20 seconds uh, so this is a small application but yeah I was able to learn a lot of things and there are still few things which I need to do like a pop-up should show here if I move it to get to work a pop-up kind of thing should come here saying that uh, all the items in down state will be deleted after 20 seconds or whatever I have set in the script I mean in the TypeScript file it will so in a pop-up that this will be deleted after 20 seconds so this is it here after few days i will again post you the update making this component i have to make this component and then some pop-ups here yeah that's it if you like this subscribe to this channel i'll be posting the update in next few days